The weather's been very pleasant across West Alabama for the past couple of months, but things are cold up north, very cold in some spots, and people living in areas ravaged by Superstorm Sandy are short of jackets and coats. Alexis Osborne has come all the way from New York, and Nicole Schimmel is a University of Alabama student. They're here to tell me more. Nicole, did I say your last name correctly? Yes, you did. All right, super, look at me. Alexis, let's start out chatting with you. Uh, what part of New York are you from? I'm from Jamaica, Queens, New York. Okay, all right, and, and that's close to, uh, to the ocean, correct? Yes. All right, and, and you have friends and family that have been affected by the storm? Certainly, um, ranging from New Jersey, Staten Island, to Queens, and also Long Island. Wow, okay, and, and uh, I can only imagine the need that's up there right now, and I don't want to dwell on that, but we had our own little problem <laughs> about a year or so ago uh, with the tornado and, and power being out for long periods of time and stuff like that. And I guess that's why you guys, UA students, uh, especially in PR, and you're a PR yes. major, right? Uh, you've decided you want to help out and give back. So what are you guys yes. going to do to help Alexis and her friends and family? Right now, um, PRSSA, we've organized a campaign. It's the Tuscaloosa Gives Back campaign, and we are hosting a coat drive on campus. We have boxes set up all over the major buildings, as well as the sorority houses, and we're working to raise at least 200 coats uh, to send to New York Cares to help them achieve their goal of collecting 200,000. And these are uh, warm winter coats, Yes, right? warm, gently used winter coats. <clears throat> all right, now you can drop the coats off uh, in a variety of places here on campus. Do you know off the top of your head the, the drop-off points? Uh, some of the main spots are the Ferguson Center, Reese Pfeiffer. We have a box upstairs outside of Tisch Student Services. Um, also Morgan Hall, Lloyd Hall, and the Muti Music, Music School building, and the Rec Center also. Now, Alexis, how long are you going to be down here with us? I'm just here until Sunday. Just until Sunday. Has it been <clears throat> refreshing for you to get away from all that for a little while? It sure has, and people from up north, specifically New York and New Jersey, are still struggling. The subway lines, the busing, the gas certainly, odd and even days for gas. It's just a struggle every day. And whenever you come down here and you see people just pulling in and out of the <laughs> gas station, and gas is like 315, 310 a gallon, you just must be going, wow, it's, it's, so, it's like I'm in a dream. Right. So, uh, last night when she picked me up from the airport, I saw 315 for gas and it was just unbelievable. Really? <laughs> How much, uh, you're part of uh, New York, uh, what are they selling gas for up there? Because we have, we've had heard horror stories, people selling gasoline for, you know, $30 a gallon on Craigslist and stuff like that. What have you ran into? Um, recently, I just waited six hours in line for gas and I paid Four forty-nine per gallon. Four forty-nine. Well, that's better than thirty. That's ridiculous. <laughs> now, uh, what's the situation like with power and infrastructure where you live at? Um, as far as I know, there's still thousands of people without power. Mm -hmm. Some students um, are not able to return to school because they don't have power still. Some teachers have to cancel classes still. It's just a constant struggle. Does it just kind of feel like life is on hold for you? It sure does to a certain extent. We try to keep things moving. People are back at work two days after the hurricane mm -hmm. just to get that normal feel back. But it's a big struggle and everyone's just coming together. And especially with people like Nicole and PRSSA and students from University of Alabama who are so benevolent and giving back to New York it gives us hope. Well, best of luck to you. And it's tough, but you guys will you'll make it. You're New, you. you're New Yorkers. <laughs> Strong and resilient, that's for sure. All right, super. Best of luck with the event and best of luck to you. Thank you. You can donate a warm or gently used coat between now and December the 7th. The donation locations include upstairs from where we are right now in Pfeiffer Hall. Find out more on Twitter at hashtag T-Town Gives Back.